Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So today is August 8th. It's the 8-8 portal. We're going to see right now what can the collective expect with this portal opening up. All right. It's going to bring in like, you know, different energy. So let's see. Look at that. Passion ignited. And we have the number one. So you see what I'm saying? Like it's like a brand new chapter that's opening up that's going to really ignite your passion for life uh your passion you know with with whatever it is that you love to do like it's gonna really motivate you all right let's see what we got here we have your karmic path and uh, we have here awareness wow so yeah again the number one so you are i feel like you are releasing and look how we have here the number eight all right like you are releasing this karmic path with this eight eight portal okay you are now more aware you have become more in tune. I want to make sure y'all can see that because of reflection. You have become more in tune of everything that you went through on this karmic path. You learned the lesson, okay? And now you have a new beginning that's going to pop off, right? With this passion ignited. It's something new, something fresh that's going to be uh, coming into your life. And look what we have at the bottom, happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So again, more confirmation that you learned from this karmic cycle, from this karmic path. You learned from it and now you're on the right path. Yeah, you're standing in your power. And look what we have here again, the number eight. And also Leo, Leo energy. We are in Leo season right now as we speak. So more confirmation about strength, determination, courage, you know, standing in your power, doing what you got to do. All right. Okay. I see you. Let's get it, collective. Okay. All okay, right. So. This is what's coming in. Happiness, uh, a new passion for life, a new zest for life because you are releasing, and I'm getting goosebumps, so that's confirmation. You are releasing this energy that was trying to hold you back, that was plotting on you, you know, just doing all of the above. Let me make sure you can see all the cards. That was doing all of the above, okay? So let's see what we get from here. Anything else the collective needs to receive right now, Holy Spirit. Okay, we have right here, co-create with spirit. That's what you're doing. 17 can be significant, but again, the number eight. See what I'm saying? You could be seeing crows or you're going to start to see crows. Just giving you confirmation that spirit is around. Most of the time, crows, you know, they signify death and shit like that. But in this situation right here, it's like spirit is letting you know that they are around, that you are co-creating with them. Okay, let's see what else. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is talking about consistent effort you know slow and steady wins the race type of energy knight of pentacles you could be a taurus virgo capricorn you don't have to be but you have been consistently trying to learn the lessons in this karmic path trying to do what you got to do you know what i'm saying like and now you're finally here in this new beginning this new chapter this new energy okay now it's not saying that you know today's eight eight so today is gonna start no but today is, is like the energy is gonna start to flow into your life okay it's gonna be a process but you're gonna start to see improvements and you're gonna start to feel the the you know the weight being lifted off of you all right you're gonna feel the energy all right so stay positive and stay optimistic and and expect good change to occur because you deserve it. All right. You did the work. You did what you needed to do. All right. So now let's see what else we could pull from. Let's pull from here. Yeah. You are on the road to success. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You know, you've been putting in the work. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know right now? It says here, broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business, okay? So that's, again, going back to this karmic path that you are releasing. You're closing out this cycle for good. Uh, for some of y'all, you could be engaged. You could have been engaged. You could have been married to someone, and you are parting ways, all right? And if it has something to do with business or both, the same thing. You are cutting these people off. You are releasing what no longer is in alignment with you, and that's what you're supposed to do. So keep doing that, all right? Let's see what else. You realize that this energy is a blockage, you know? I was talking about this yesterday. It's not meant to go with you where you're going. Yeah, look, we have a younger woman, and then we have a woman. So some of y'all, you could you could be the woman. You could be dealing with a child, with a woman, whatever. It could be somebody at work, friendship, like I said. But it could also be, 
if you are a masculine watching, you was dealing with a woman. All right. It says here dealings or a relationship with a woman. And then we have with this younger woman that this woman could have been maybe younger than you or she was just really immature. You know, her mind was very young. And spirit is saying that, you know, it's time to cut this off. All right. You have to cut it off and, you know, flip it however you need to. It could be a younger man, you know, flip it how you need to. All right. So let's see. We have shield. You need to defend yourself. All right. For some of y'all, again, if this is like a, a divorce, you need to defend yourself. You're going to have to go to court. You're going to have to do what you got to do. But this karmic shit is, is, is done. This karmic path is done, but you're going to have to, you know, tie up some loose ends. All right. Uh, for some of y'all, you could be doing that right now, defending yourself from these energies, releasing everything that doesn't serve you, protecting your energy, all right? Spirit is saying that you're going to successfully overcome this problem, so have no worries, all right? God is with you. Again, right here, you are co-creating with spirit. They're going to make sure everything works out in your favor, all right? So have no worries. We have here, you are climbing or, you know, you're or you're going to be climbing towards success, okay? The ladder of success. Again, a lot of confirmation keeps coming out that you are going to be leveling up, that you are doing what you got to do okay so look we have here hidden secrets can harm you and then we have here muddled unclear thinking okay so what i got right now with this forest people could have been in the forest doing some weird shit with skulls right off the bat i'm getting some weird shit we are talking about karmics all right they could have been doing something you know hiding secrets you know that can harm you or just secrets that you know they didn't want you to know what was going on and they could have been in the in the uh forest bippity bopping they wanted you to be unclear like they didn't want you to know what was going on i'm going to clarify that because that's that's the first thing that came to mind when i um got that that card this uh forest muddled unclear thinking holy spirit clarify for me this muddled unclear thinking what is this forest card Were they trying to project this energy into the life of the collective they wanted this person to be thinking unclear they wanted this person uh, to not see what was going on. Again, we have awareness, okay? That's what I'm getting. Spirit was like, hello, we have awareness. Yeah, awareness. <laughs> All right. But they didn't want you to be going through your spiritual awakening. They Wow, look at that. You cannot, yo, you cannot make this up. They wanted to keep you in a low vibration. They didn't want you to get into alignment. You see, with the chakras, I'll be telling y'all every day, cleanse your chakras because that's how they be trying to keep us in a low vibration. They try to attack our chakras to keep us off balance. And look, we have divine masculine in the flesh. And again, number one is significant. You could be seeing one, 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 which is also an angel number talking about you being in alignment. You going through a spiritual awakening. You passing the spiritual test. Now you in alignment. You ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been doing what you got to do. So... This person wanted to keep you off balance, all right? They didn't want you to get, yeah, to this divine masculine or divine feminine energy because it is going to bring in a new beginning, new passion, new chapter. They know that it's going to be an ending to this karmic cycle. The number 10 is endings. 10, 10, you could be seeing that. Angel numbers talking about 10, uh, you know, about endings, about, you know, shit closing out. And... They know that you was going to move on. See how this person is ready to go? They got the bag, ready to get the fuck up out of here. Travel up out of here. Go on another path. You understand? Because when you are awakened, when you are enlightened, like we have here around this person's crown chakra, by the way, and we have the chakras here, they were sending attacks to your crown chakra so that you don't see clearly what's going on and they continue to be able to manipulate you. So now they see that when you wake up, they know that you was going to be walking away because you was never meant to be with this karmic. This karmic was putting up a bunch of illusions, all right, trying to blind you. Yo, you cannot make this up. Trying to blind you to be with them. But this card in the reverse is not working, all right? The love spells ain't working. We have the Ice King. For some of y'all, this Ice King is the karmic masculine. Look what we have here. Entity attachment, y'all. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. Let me get the card that fell. <clears throat> they try to do a love spell. They try to attach an entity to you to keep you in this energy, to keep you in the Ice King energy too. The Ice King energy is, is the, it's like a karmic masculine, you know, like low vibrational, you know? So they didn't want you to ascend. Simple as that. That's what I was getting right off the bat when I saw Forest. The card that I made, a bunch of holes in the woods, drinking blood is what came to my, to my mind. So that's what they're doing. All right. They doing shit with blood. Blood magic, using the period blood, using, you know, weird stuff to do love spells, to keep you trapped, to send an entity to attach to you. This could be through sex that they do this. 
they, you know, sexually transmitted demons. Uh, and um, they also could have just, you know, sent some type of entity. We picked up on that the other day, too. That they keep on trying to send entities towards you, you know, to, to your home. All right? If this is a karmic that you was living with, then it was pretty easy, you know, for this karmic to do this in the past. But now they're not able to do this no more. You have made it you know, to this point right here, you know, like you are enlightened, you're seeing clearly, you know, what's up, you have awakened, you know what I'm saying? Now you're walking away from this energy. And that was what they were trying to prevent the whole time with these damn spells. So yeah, they definitely doing some, some weird shit with this, um, with, with skulls, with bones. All right. Uh, in the woods, in the forest. And it was to have you having unclear thinking. All right. Um, and this were, these were the hidden secrets, all right, that can harm you, all right, they was plotting, doing all this shit, it could harm, you know, your forward movement, and that's what they were trying to do, okay, so, let's see, what else, I pull some cards from here, all right, Holy Spirit, any messages for the collective? Okay, this person is a blessing blocker. So we already know this. This person and whoever's connected to this person, they were trying to keep you in a low vibration. We already see that. Spirit is saying no rest for the wicked. Absolutely. This is some wicked shit. <laughs> wicked shit in the, in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Drinking blood and doing sacrifices and rituals and weird shit. They're going to get their karma. You have no worries. You're going to move forward. Okay, it says here in the back of the card, trust that your hard work is unlocking doors that you cannot see yet all right keep on doing your hard work keep moving forward all right look it, it says something about unlocking these opportunities right and we have here you will get the raise the new job or the position whatever it is that you're trying to do you're gonna get it okay this is part of the uh new beginning you know these people was blocking all of this shit from happening they wanted you stuck spirit is saying that you are stronger than you think and you will get what you want absolutely you are i'm here to to confirm that for you all right you were guided here to get that message that you are going to get what you want because you deserve it all right it says here a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so you feel like this was a mistake but it was all divinely guided we need to go through these karmic lessons for us to learn all right so don't be too hard on yourself understand that there was a lesson here embrace the situation like okay i needed to learn from this i learned thank you god i'm grateful for the lesson i'm grateful for the experience it has made me wiser and now i'm going to continue to move on climbing this ladder towards success i'm not going to let this hold me back i'm not going to be stressed i'm not going to be crying i'm not going to be depressed and pressed you know what i'm saying like i get it i needed to go through this it was a lesson thank you for the lesson i get the fuck out of my life bitch I get the fuck out of my life dude like out okay and be careful. Look at this. Be careful who you vent to. Spirit is saying. All right? Because there could be people that's working together here. Okay? It says that you are allowed to do what's best for you, even if it upsets people. All right? You're going to be right now 13, 13. When I said that, uh, 13 is, is the death card in tarot. You know? It doesn't have to be an actual physical death, but it's an ending that you are calling upon these people. You're not dealing with this shit no more. So you're going to do what is best for you, even if it upsets these people. Even if there's family telling you, if it's a lover, oh, you shouldn't break up with them. You should stay together for the children. You should do this. You should do that. Listen. You're not going to listen to nobody no more because you already saw what happened when you was listening to everybody. Now you're going to listen to yourself. You went through the karmic cycle. You felt it. Nobody else felt what you felt. Nobody else that's telling you to be with this karmic or whatever the situation is, because I'm getting that right now. Nobody else was there going through the drama, going through the toxicity, going through the sleepless nights. You sleeping in the living room. I'm sleeping in the room. You know, like I'm getting like somebody was living with a karmic. And y'all wasn't even in love. Like, it was just horrible. All right? But you want to, maybe there's a child involved. You want to do it for the child. Or you got family. You got people, you know, pressuring you. And listen, fuck all that noise. All right? You already did everything for everybody else. Now it's time to do this for you. All right? For you and for God. Because this is what God wants you to do. God wants you to put God first. God has a plan for you. So it's time now to trust and co-create with spirit. You're not co-creating with demons no more. It's over for that. All right, so be careful who you're venting to because these people could try to sway you back into the devil's den. You know what I'm saying? The devil be using low vibrational people to throw us off. So, right now, don't vent to nobody. All right, keep it to yourself. Okay, if you want to book a reading, book a reading and we talk about it. But <laughs> right now, you got to keep this to yourself. You cannot let anybody sway you. All right, you're on the right path, you're doing what you got to do. Keep moving forward, you're manifesting your best life. All right. Leave the past in the past.